What's up guys? It's your boy Swoos here and today I have another food review except it's not a food review it's a drink review it's not just any drink review this isn't something that you can get at any time this is a limited time product I was at Wawa I was getting my you know my regular Italian sub I was like oh this drink looks really good but it's limited time so I decided you know what let's get it be a good video review it is the salted caramel mocha now there's many different uh i got the milkshake version there's plenty of different versions there's a hot chocolate there's a macchiato there's a latte there's iced coffee whatever you want right they got like nine different variations of salted caramel mocha i got the milkshake now when i got it it didn't look like this the whipped cream was all nice there were chocolate chips everywhere but it's been about probably 20 minutes since i got it so it's a little melted now I haven't tasted it yet. We're going to taste it together. I'm going to let you know if it's something you should definitely get ASAP or not. Uh, now, before I begin, um, I must say, uh, Wawa milkshakes have give, have had a history, a tumultuous history with me. Um, I often get stomach aches from Wawa milkshakes. Why, I don't know. Maybe they're a little too sweet. Maybe they're a little too syrupy. I don't know. Maybe this drink will be different. I love salted caramel from time to time. It's not something I can drink too often because it's so sweet. I love the salted caramel malts that they have at Smash Burger. That's probably one of my favorite drinks of all time. Um, maybe this will taste like it, but we're going to give it a shot. It's the salted caramel mocha milkshake from Wawa. It's the 16-ounce size. They also have a 24-ounce, which is a little bit bigger. But Without further ado, let's get into this. Okay. Okay. Okay, interesting. Interesting development we have here. Um essentially it kind of tastes like um How do I put this? Like, it tastes like salted caramel, like, straight up. It's just literally a salted caramel. That's what it is. It's a salted caramel shake. The mocha, it's nice because the first thing you get is salted caramel, and then all of a sudden, the mocha kind of just, like, you know, flips out, takes over, and you get this delicious mocha taste, which, personally, I like more than the salted caramel. The salted caramel tastes a little bit like that, like that caramel syrup, that caramel Hershey syrup you get. It's kind of, like, too salted caramel -y, You feel what I'm saying? Like... It's not a hint of it. It's just explosion, overdone dictatorship of caramel all over. There's nothing you can do about it. It's there to stay. But then Mocha comes out of nowhere and says, Viva la revolution. And takes the king, takes the throne of this drink. Now, I will say it's very sweet. It's one of them. Uh, if you've ever had something really sweet, you get it, it almost like coats your mouth in just sweetness. And like you just you can feel the plaque build up on your teeth just from drinking this. Like you can feel the cavities forming in the roots of your canals as you drink it. This is kind of similar to that. It's a little bit dumbed down, but it's certainly it is certainly a diabetic infusion inside of this drink. Uh, it's 690 calories for this version. The biggest version, the 24 ounce version, was like 1,090 calories. And like, I'm all for bulking up and gaining weight, but I'm not trying to have 900,000 uh, grams of sugar in one sitting. I haven't even eaten luncheon yet because Wawa, for some reason, I asked for a cold hoagie, a cold sub, whatever you call it. I call it a sub, you call it a hoagie, bygones be bygones, whatever. They give me a warm sandwich. Why do they give me a warm sandwich when I ask for a cold? It's not warm as in, like, fresh out the toaster. You feel what I'm saying? It's lukewarm. Like, it's been sitting out all day. Like, the tomatoes aren't cold. The lettuce ain't cold. The bread is not cold. Like, the bread is not supposed to be cold. The meat is not cold. It's lukewarm. Room temperature. Like, no, Wawa. Get your stuff together, man. Um, and that'll, that'll be another day. We'll review Wawa Sandwich another day, but they, 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 they change every time. It's different bread, different whatever every time, you know. Sometimes you get your nice guys, you know, you get your boy Jeremy hitting you up with the nice combos inside the sandwich. You get cheese, meat, meat cheese, or but then you get, you get, uh, Stephanie doing cheese stuffed in the corner and meat everywhere. It's just, no. But back to the shake. Oh. 
don't have chocolate chip in it. Chocolate chip's very good. Chocolate chip is a nice, nice compliment. This tastes like something you'd get at Starbucks limited time. Um, the milkshake, though, overall feelings on the milkshake, it's a little too sweet for me. You know, salty caramel, the thing I don't like about salty caramel is it's good for, like, the first few minutes that you're eating it, drinking it, whatever, and then it just becomes too much. Like, it's it's great when it hits, but when it stays is when it's just, like, it, it loses its, it loses its uh, accountability, as you, as you will. Um, but... Uh, I would definitely try something else. If you're a big milkshake person, go ahead and try this. It's very sweet. You know, it's not it's not a, really much of a milkshake in my opinion. It's more just like a thick concoction. You know, there's no... Like, it tastes as if you blended ice cream. You just took dollars of chocolate ice cream, put it in a blender, and it was that really thick mixture. That's what this is. This ain't a milkshake. This is too... Thick for a milkshake. Although, you know, some people like their milkshakes like that. I don't. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you're not, um, if you're more of a coffee person, try the coffee. Uh, I'm, I, I personally, I, I won't try any others because I'm not trying to waste my money. Um, I will finish it though. But, you know, if I had to redo it, I probably wouldn't get the milkshake. I'd probably go for one of the coffees, like the latte or something. Just because, uh, just because the sun coming out, making me look all white. Uh, just because it's just a thinner drink. Like, this is just too thick and sweet at the same time. It's too sugary for me. But um, out of a 10, I'll go ahead. I'll give it a, you know, my Sean score as we, as we, uh, a swill score as we um, connotated it, denotated it, whatever notated it last time. I'm gonna give it out of ten. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a seven. It does its job. It you know you're not getting anything crazy. You're getting what you're paying for, and that's all you can ask for, right? That's it. That's the end of the video. That was my transition. Um, leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe. Share this with your friends, especially because this is limited time. Everyone's gonna know about it now and not next month. All right. Take care, everyone. Oh, by the way, before I leave, hi, you thought the video was over. I just want to just want to give a quick shout out to Bo at the Wawa gas station. My man is so polite. The nicest gas attendant I ever met. Shout out to you, Bo. If you're watching this, Bo, or if you know Bo, make sure he make sure he knows that he's a great guy. You know, he's been pumping gas since he was seven. I respect that. You do you, Bo. Everyone else, enjoy your night as well. Peace out.